ladies and gentlemen, representing one half of the gladiators and representing the Crash and Burn Wrestling Podcast from Pottstown, Pennsylvania, weighing 166 pounds, the Grim Reaper, Kyle Riker. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Kyle Riker, representing the Gladiators and the Crash and Burn Wrestling Podcast, coming at you with another video review. And today, I'll be doing the WWE Elite Series 76, John Cena. That's right, I'm very excited to have this figure. It's definitely time to add some thugonomics to the channel. And once again, shout out to my good friend uh, Josh from the Gladiators and the Crash and Burn Wrestling Podcast for hooking me up with this figure, as well as my previous review, which was the Basic Series 107 Bianca Belair. So thanks again, Josh, for hooking me up with this, with this awesome figure. Link to his channel is in the description, so check that out. Anyways, um, as we always do before we take out the figures, take out the packaging first. Okay, so the collection, John Cena. Series 76, WWE logo. First picture of John Cena from WrestleMania 35, which is what this figure is based on. And a picture there, and obviously they photoshopped the, uh, the Yankees stuff from the hat and his jersey off there since they don't have the rights. Whatever. And in the back, of course, picture, his bio, and stats. You can pause right there if you want to read. And the other figures in the set, of course, we got John Cena, Braun Strowman, Otis, Tucker, or as Otis calls him, Tucky, Lacey Evans, and Christian. I am definitely going to get Braun Strowman. I like the way that figure turned out. And, of course, I really want to get Heavy Machinery, Otis, and Tucker. And Lacey Evans, I'm a huge fan of Lacey Evans, so that's a definite pickup. Christian, I'm probably going to pass on him. I was not a fan of this version of Christian, so I might pass on that. Or who knows, maybe I might get it, put it away, and save it in case, in case they make a Gangrel or an Edge figure from that era. So if they so if they make Gangrel or Edge from this era, I might get Christian at some point. But we'll see. Anyways, that's about it for the packaging, so let's open up the figure and see what we got. We'll be right back. So here we got the Doctor of Thugonomics, John Cena, open up and out of the package. Now this is a pretty sick figure. Like, it's awesome. I think this is definitely a very underrated figure. I, mean, I wouldn't say it's a must-have, but it is a pretty freaking awesome figure. Anyways, uh, first of his accessories, he comes with a pair of interchangeable hands in case you want to do the You Can't See Me. Which I think since he's playing the Doctor of Thugonomics character, I think he should have come with uh, these hands. Which they've included quite a few times. Uh, they included it with um, Roman Reigns and Samoa Joe. And also, I think the upcoming Decade of Domination Series 1 figure is going to come with those hands. So, I don't get why they didn't include those hands with these. Because he didn't use the You Can't See Me hands in that, in that, um, in that moment. Like, he used, you know, these hands. So, I think it would have made more sense if they included those hands instead of the You Can't See Me hands. But, whatever. Of course, uh, he does come with the Ward Life brass rings, which look pretty cool. They do actually come off uh, rather easily, but if you leave them in the position that they're at right now, they shouldn't slip off, but they do come off pretty easily, because I've had that issue with the uh, Defining Moments John Cena, which is also his Dr. Thugonomics attire. Like I said, yeah, they do come off if you really wanted to. You just slide them off his fingers, and there you go. Little focus. Unfortunately, mine looks a little scratched up because I think it rubbed against the box when I was taking it out of the box. But, oh well. See, there's a little gap there so you can just slide it on his hands like that. There you go. And then you can just bend the wrist down to be that little pose he had back then. Well, well during that segment or even back in the day when he played this character. Of course, he also comes with, you know, your basic... Um, black hat, which it is missing the uh, like all the the Yankees logo up here and all the Yankees stuff all of this hat, but since they don't have the rights to it, they could not do that. The only reason why Funko was able to do it when they when they did a Funko pop of this version of John Cena from this moment at WrestleMania 35, it's because Funko they have the rights to the Yankees because they made Yankees Funko pops, so they were able to put all the Yankees logos and stuff all over his jersey and his hat. I know a lot of people were questioning that, but well, how come Franco is able to pull the logo and crap it over? Well, that's because they make a Yankees Funko Pops and and Yankees merchandise. 
you know, Funko's made a lot of products that are with the Yankees, so obviously it makes sense why they put all that stuff on there, because they have the rights to it. Of course, it does come with his infamous lock chain, which looks pretty nice. It's, it's nothing special, but it is pretty cool. I'm glad it's not that super flimsy rubber that, that Mattel uses on a lot of their necklaces. That way it doesn't break easy. Let me take the brass rings off real fast. And of course, finally, he comes with the jersey, which once again, it's missing the Yankees uh, on the front because, like as I mentioned, they don't have the rights to it. So it's basically just very basic. But it does have the number three on the back because that's not copyrighted, but the Yankees logo is. And it's a, it's a very soft material. It's not like super soft, but it's kind of like a rough material. It feels like the material that is used on a... Um, like, basically, you know, like how when you go to, like, I don't know, a men's warehouse or some of that and buy, and buy a suit, you know, like a tuxedo or some of that? Like, the material that the shirt's made of, that's what this this jersey feels like. It feels like that shirt material. Like, say, so you when I touched that for the first time, it reminded me of the suit I used to wear for business meetings. Anyways, it does come off pretty easily. However, because of the material, I would be very careful. That way it doesn't rip. Because I, th cause I think somebody mentioned that if you're not careful, it does rip. So be very careful with this. And here he's basically in Jurassic Entire. He's got the armbands, which unfortunately it is made of rubber, which I wish they would stop using these rubber bicep bands because they do break after a while. Like I had that problem happen with one of my Elite Cenas, and a lot of people have had that problem with a lot of their Elite Cenas that have that. Which is You Can't See Me. And the You Can't Stop Me, which I never liked that catchphrase. I always liked the You Can't See Me a lot better. And of course the shorts he had at the time, which I think the I think the color was a little bit darker. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Not too bad. Sorry, the neighbors are yelling outside. And I'm glad they used the old shoe, uh, the the old shoe mold that they used like on Elite Series Three, Elite Series Seven. Like I think it was Elite Series Twenty when they stopped using this this shoe mold because one, it helps them stand a lot better and does actually have posability. So I'm glad they used this old uh, shoe mold. So pretty much from the waist down, it's pretty much Elite Series 3 slash 7 Cena, you know, like the old molds they used to use for, for the shorts. And I prefer this mold because it looks a little bit better and the shoe mold, it helps them stand up a lot better because from Elite Series 20 all the way to Elite 64, they use the, the shoe mold that doesn't have the, uh, the ankle joint there. So it makes it very difficult for them to stand up because the shoes are huge. Like it just doesn't stand up at all. And his articulation is pretty much what you expect. Head can rotate 360. Can look down. Uh, it can't really look. It can't look down really. You can kind of look up, I guess. Arms rotate 360. You go in and out. Rotate the bicep. Bend the elbow. Rotate the wrist and hinge. Of course, has the ab crunch. Moves about that, that far forward and this far back. I don't know about you guys, but when I move it forward, it's really loose. But then when you move it back, it's really tight. I don't know. Does anybody else have that problem? Let me know. Swivel with the waist, legs can go forward about that far. And back to original position, they can go in and out. Rotate the thigh, double jointed knee. Now normally on, on uh, the other Elite Cena's, it would swivel at the calf. Whereas on this one, it swivels at the shoe, as it should. And then hinge at the ankle, and then a slight ankle pivot. So pretty much what you expect. And the only reason why I didn't mention his head scan earlier because I really have no thoughts about the head scan. I mean, it's okay. I don't really care for it. The hair is a little too dark for my liking. I think it should be a little bit brighter. But aside from that, pretty decent figure. It's not a, it's not a must-have, but it's a pretty solid figure. So overall, I would say this is a very solid John Cena figure. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't say it's a must-have, but it's still a pretty decent figure. I think it's a very good representation of probably one of my favorite moments from WrestleMania 35 last year. Like, I remember going ballistic when he, when John Cena came out and interrupted Elias dressed as the Doctor of Fuckonomics. Because to me, that is my favorite version of John Cena, even though I didn't even grow up with it. Oh, yeah, um, oh, yeah I wish they would have found a way to maybe make, I don't know, maybe like a parody of the Yankees logos, like they did with the, the Shockmaster figure when they had to make the Stormtrooper helmet. But since they don't have the rest of the Yankees, I can't really beat them up over that, so... Except my only real complaint with the figure itself is the hair. I think the hair is a tad bit too dark. But aside from that, it's a great figure. So I would say if you're a John Cena fan, if you are a fan of this moment, and also a fan of the Doctor of Thugonomics persona, 
I would say this is definitely a pretty solid figure to pick up. So I'd say if you can find it in stores or possibly order it online for a good price, I would definitely recommend picking it up. Thanks again to my good friend Josh's Toy Show for hooking me up with this figure as well as Bianca Belair. Link to his channel is in the description. And FYI, that was not Josh in my intro. That was our, that was um, one of our co-hosts from the Crash and Bear Wrestling Podcast, Jason. That was not Josh, FYI, in case you were curious. Because I know somebody probably asked me that about the Bianca Belair figure. Because obviously I put that intro in there. Anyway, so aside from the hair, I would give this figure a 9.5 out of 10. So I would say if you're a John Cena fan, pick it up if you can. But it's not a must-have, so it's up to you. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Be sure to follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And also check out Josh's channel. Link is in the description. And also be sure to click on that notification bell so you get instant notifications as soon as I drop a new video. I upload new reviews every single Saturday right here on this channel, so stay tuned. And anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bye.